Hi guys, Gil with Camp Pet and Family Compound here. I've been getting some questions uh, about what I do or what I used to do all my and what my experiences are and stuff. So I've allu alluded to several different jobs I've had over the years. So we're going to lay things out really quick here. Just a short video here. So when I graduated from high school, I went to, I uh, started in the um, Diablo Valley College for, uh, in the, my, my major was going to be drama. My s minor was administration of justice. I got a job with the campus police. And so I, my first job was with, with the campus police. Um, after that, I went, uh, my brother had started a landscaping company. And I went to work for him part-time and then full-time. And then the whole company got hired by a construction company that... Um, he, we've been doing some, some subcontract work for. So then I was working for a construction company, learned how to run backhoe, loader, um, compactors, small dozers. Um, then I went back to school and, to, and I got my uh, aid in, in administration of justice, put myself through the police academy, and went to work for the... Uh, Contra Costa County Sheriff's Department. I was there about three months and my brother came to me and said, hey, this new company I'm working for, um, they made me a foreman. I want to hire you to uh, be one of my uh, equipment operators. Come play in the dirt and make twice as much money as you're making now. Twice as much money and playing in the dirt, I was gone. So I went over there and then I started operating um, big dozers, cranes, um, paddle wheel scrapers, oh, big compactors, excavators, um, track excavators. Um, and now when I was there, I was also uh, the first operator to run the California soil cement processor. And then I helped them redesign it and build two different ones after that, each improvement on the pr previous one. And I did that for about 10 years. Then I took a, my withdrawal from the union, locked up my pension so it would be good there before I retired. And went back into uh, law enforcement uh, in the private sector. Um, I went to work for uh, Bank of America and set, uh, did their Y2K uh, site uh, security setup for their big data center and Concord. Um, they had uh, five buildings in the co in the uh, campus for that data center and took care of all the emergency su supplies for them, got everything up to speed for them for Y2K. From there I went to work for uh, Chevron Oil and was there when it turned from Chevron Oil into Chevron Texaco and I was in charge of the uh, facility security for their corporate headquarters in San Ramon and it had 14 uh, buildings on that campus and uh, that's where I was working when 9-11 um, happened. Uh, a friend of mine called me and said hey you know, the government's setting up a new uh, agency called Homeland Security you gotta look into it uh, get in on one of the, uh, one of the uh, other agencies right now and when you, you roll over into it so um, and in 2002, I went to work uh, for the federal government. Um, I became the emergency management coordinator and the um, executive coordination center officer. Um, it was really cool having an email that was guilford.patton at dhs.gov. So that was really cool for a while. I actually did that for 15 years. And I retired this past um, September from uh, Homeland Security, and here I am now. Now, on a side note, um, in 1971, I was in the Silmar earthquake in Southern California, and I wrote a emergency preparedness pamphlet, about 30 pages. Um, for my mom who needed it for the Relief Society. 
So I wrote it up and or I you know hand wrote it in pen in pencil and then she typed it all up and they used it and then in 2004 I found that same document had been uh, what's the word I want to use? Uh, not plagiarized, but a lot of it was word for word by the Los Angeles Fire Department. And they were using it, and they'd, bump, they'd bumped up a bunch more stuff on it. But you go to your whole sections that were exactly word for word what I had written. Um, but so I, I at 14, as, as a 14 year old scout, I wrote up the uh, this uh, booklet. And then in, a couple of years later, and when we moved to northern Arizona at the north rim of the Grand Canyon, I got into the um, wilderness survival and rescue. Uh, there had a lot of people coming up from the cities and stuff. You know, oh, we're going to hike around the Grand Canyon. And they'd get lost and stuff. All times of the year. Heat of the summer, snow in the winter. You know, so we'd go out and uh, rescue them. Um, I continued to study heavily into emergency preparedness and response and I began teaching it in 78 I began teaching it uh, took every course that FEMA offered online I am also a certified FEMA instructor for incident command 100 200 300 and 400 and um, in the IS 700, 8, and 800. And I, uh, oh, I also was, uh, when um, the CERT program was rolled out by Homeland Security when they adopted it from the Los Angeles Fire Department, I helped write the animal uh, care module for it with, um, someone from the Contra Costa County Animal Services. We went, uh, so, and I became a CERT instructor, and then I became a trained, the trainer instructor. I was a Boy Scout, uh, Scoutmaster, and in that I was also a uh, trained, the trainer instructor for the Scouts for all the different things they have in Scouts, which a lot of people don't know about for training the adults as well as the youth. Uh, why I was also uh, working for the federal government, I became a train the trainer for um, ICMS, which is ICME in the solution, which is uh, for conflict management. And I also taught uh, sexual harassment prevention, um, hazmat awareness, before they finally rolled out a online course for everybody. I've written several books on emergency preparedness. I've written a bunch of pamphlets and handouts for it. Um, let's see, I've written several novels on disasters and recovery and survival. And those are actually three of those are right now available free online at www.theassetcenter, one word theassetcenter.com uh, backslash books and you can look them up there look uh, find them there and uh, I got other stuff I've been a, a radio uh, guest for emergency preparedness I've uh, set up and ran several emergency preparedness fairs I've been the guest speaker at numerous emergency preparedness fairs and other events so that's my Generally, uh, most of my background, there's some other stuff in there. Um, oh, I, I was in, uh, at one point, I had my contractor's license, Class A, General Engineering Contractor's License. Oh, yeah, I've done a lot. Uh, one of the reasons why I, uh, people ask me, why you got such a diverse background, you know, law enforcement, construction and stuff, well, part of it was based on my dad. Before my dad met my mom, he was in the top 10 of the road uh, for all around cowboy rodeo for 10 years. Uh, during the off season, he ran heavy equipment. He also uh, was a special deputy sheriff in Clark County, Nevada. He was a, um, after he met my mom, he became a master machinist 
a master blacksmith, a master electrician. So I learned a lot from him and became, much like him, a master of many, many um, skills. So that's all. That's where I'm coming from and what I, what I do. Um, I'll be speaking at several of the emergency preparedness fairs in Idaho this year. I've already did, done one. I'll be doing another one here coming up here in October. And so, yeah, that's me. Any questions, you know, leave them in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And then when that little bell pops up, click it so you get notifications whenever I, we post more videos. And don't forget, pound that thumbs up button, the like button. All right. Thank you much and have a good evening. Bye.